feasible. So we, we put together a group that was made up of geologists, geophysicists, and uh, geologists that had outcrop experience and then what others uh, exploration experience. And, uh, and a pale, we didn't have the paleontologists in the group. We had the use of the paleogeology department. And then we had uh, programmers. So seven, six, seven of you. Yeah. The team was six or seven of yeah, you. Yeah, right. Um, did you have good communication among oh, you? Oh, we had excellent communication. We would meet, meet periodically. and, uh, and uh, Once a week? Oh, I'd say maybe uh, oh, probably more on average uh, once a month. And, uh, and then uh, and what we'd say, uh, what, we'd, uh, what we'd, br we'd brainstorm, the idea is if we had all the money we needed, and what would we do? And so this is what we'd work on. And, uh, and, uh, and we'd discuss this. And Sangri was a big part of it. He was real good at this. But we, we'd work on this and different group, you know, would, would be interested in different areas. And, and so they talked about these different areas. And so what we did, we realized, well, we needed to get computer programming. So uh, we got into um, writing computer programs. And we wrote a whole bunch of computer programs. And then geophysics just really went wild. <laughs> and uh, they, they, they did everything they could to get us out of this programming business, because they were the ones that did the programming. So uh, uh, but we, we kept at it, and, uh, and then uh, Persevere. I guess perseverance is a good word. How did you handle dissension within within the team? You mean when you argued? Uh, oh, well, we didn't argue. We were a real compatible group. We didn't really go. Out. Everybody kind of respected everybody. So, did anybody more vain than yourself claim the sequence stratigraphy merit, or? Well. Certain people got real interested in it. Mitchum was one that got real interested, and he was real good. And so we called him. He was the he was the he was the best at working the really hot, tough data. <laughs> so so he always got the tough data assignments. And uh, but uh, but we all contributed. And then uh, uh, and then uh, Hen a man named Henry Posmatier, he uh, he applied from uh, Stony Brook University, but anyway, uh, a university in New York. And he, and he was doing his PhD on counting tree rings. But somehow he really impressed me. And so, so I recommended we hire him. So he came on, and he had never seen a seismic section. And, uh, but but he, he really got interested in all this. Why did he impress you? Well, he just, he, he just, he just seemed real capable and so interested in the subject, and and uh, well, maybe he did. It turned out he, he he became one of the real leaders in all this. In 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 seventy one, Exxon disbanded your group. Is that true? Seventy one. Well, uh, what we did, we moved uh, buildings, and. Uh, they moved us to, uh, they moved us, well, they first moved us into a, a Quonset hut on, in the parking lot of our research center. And, uh, and our supervisor at that time, I wasn't the supervisor, I was the group leader. And uh, Mandy uh, Turing was the supervisor. And then he got sick and died. And so, then I became the supervisor. That's how I got to be supervisor. And, uh, so and the, the, the team was never dismantled after you, you had the sequence photographic uh, team? No. And it was under, under Man, Mandy and Ted McFarlane was our division manager uh, that we set all that up. And then, uh, then we moved over to a building on 610 where, uh, where they had more office space for us and we moved out of the closet that. And um, how much time? Uh, and it was about then that Henry came. Henry came just after we, I think, just after we moved. Uh -huh. moved really about. My dates are a little he he shaky, but somewhere's in there. Uh, I think seven, maybe seventy-three. I, 
I became a supervisor of the structural geology section. 